Hi there, welcome to No Nonsense Whiskey. My name's Vin PF, and on today's episode, we're going to be checking out day 11 of the really good whiskey company advent calendar. Let's get into it and see what we've got behind door number 11. I haven't changed up my intro much this time around. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I kind of do these things on the fly, just in case you can't tell. Um, okay, today we have. Yeah, okay, we have the Scallywag Space Eye. This is the standard from the Remarkable Regional Malts. Um, ironically, I've been wearing my Douglas Lang Christmas shirts, and I do have a Scallywag one, so unfortunately, it didn't align. I'm not wearing one today. This is just my. It's not even really a Christmas jumper, I suppose. This is just a wintry jumper, and I've had it for some years, and I'm starting to kind of pack this one out a little bit, so maybe it's time to replace this one with a larger size. In any case, we have the uh, Scallywag, which is the Space Side blend of the Remarkable Regional Malts, presented at 46%. Um, in here, <laughs> this is actually quite convenient because I've just reviewed, I don't know when this video is going to come out uh, on the 11th, I guess, but um, my review for Thursday, that probably just gone, will be of the Scallywag Christmas Edition cask strength. Um, so luckily, I've got all that information still in my head. But um, yeah, if I kind of remember rightly, this is a blend of um, Macallan, Mortlach, Glen Rothers, and uh, a bunch of other stuff. And I said in that video that traditionally I don't really get on with any of those distilleries, um, especially not uh, Macallan and Glen Rothers. And Mortlach's a bit of a coin flip for me, but I, I shouldn't go too much into that. Um, I do really love this though, because this is like 46% non chill filtered natural colour and about 35 quid in the UK. So can't really argue with that. Let's get onto the nose and see what we've got. Now this is a sherry one of course. Most of those dis distilleries I mentioned before um, operate kind of sherry basis. I guess you could probably get hold of non-sherry ones if you really tried hard, but why bother? And these have always got a really well-rounded nose. Sherry's always a dangerous thing for me because sometimes I get some uh, sulphur on the nose and I really don't like that, but I don't get that on these. These have been kind of really well blended. But you know, this one isn't particularly in your face. Um, it's just a really nice, really nice nosing whiskey. Let's try on the on the old palate then, shall we? Mm hmm Yeah, lovely, lovely. Now, um, in terms of notes, it's just kind of that normal kind of standard fare. It's those those dried fruits, those raisins, sultanas, although more sultana than raisins, I have to say, the, the one I just covered way more raisins than this, but actually now I said that, raisins are coming out of the back end, power of suggestion into my own brain, but it is lovely, yeah, as a sherried whiskey, um, I enjoy that sort of thing. As a whole, on the Remarkable Regional Malts range, they cover all different kinds of bases, but this one isn't my favourite of the range, uh, no, I, I like, the, like the Big Pete and the, uh, the Rock Island, as it's called now, I like those kind of big, bold, peaty salty flavours but um, in a pinch when I fancy a bit of sherry this is the kind of thing I would reach for because it's nice and easy to buy it's cheap enough and available I guess worldwide hopefully everyone can get a hold of this sort of thing but yeah just a really nice whiskey uh, and I've always been a big fan of this and the Douglas Lang remarkable regional malts had a bit of a rough patch over the last few days and now it's starting to pick up again I think hopefully we shall see but this is a really good entry and it by for my personal taste anyway by a long shot the best of the last five just me, just me. Okay then, we've got to day 12 tomorrow, so we're getting nearly to the halfway point. Hopefully you're all still with me. I'm gonna keep plowing on as best I can. But um, yeah, day 12 tomorrow, hopefully you'll join me for it. 